What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best Cydia tweaks that are currently available in Cydia for the latest version of iOS that is capable of being jailbroken. As of right now, that's iOS 8.1.2. Now, of course, I have some great tweaks to show you guys as always, and one of my personal favorite tweaks that I'm going to be showing you guys today is called Cask. And this tweak will allow you to change the animation when you scroll up and down in table views, for example, in the settings application. And of course, I have some other great tweaks to show you as well. And all the tweak names and prices will be listed down below in the description just to let you know. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so first up is Cask, and this is one that I was just talking about. And it is available in Cydia for free. However, you will need to add a special repository down below in the description in order to install this. And once you have installed it, again, what it will allow you to do is have cool animations when you're in, in table views and scrolling. As you can see right here, I have this really cool animation when I scroll up and down in the settings application. This is just an example. It's not only in the settings, it works in other applications as well. For example, as you can see, this is a table view inside the messages app. And as you can see, it is taking an effect here. And there are various effects to choose from. If you go into settings for cask down here and just open it up. Uh, you could go to style, and there are a few styles, as you can see. I'll just go through them. Here's fade. Uh, this one's not that, as you can see, dramatic. It's not so noticeable, so I'm not really a big fan of this one. But if we just go back in here, uh, here's grow. This one's actually very cool. As you can see right there, uh, things kind of come in from the bottom of the screen or the top of the screen, depending on uh, the way that you're scrolling. Now let's just go back into cask here. And now I will show you stretch. This one's actually pretty cool as well. I'll show you this. As you can see, that kind of come from the top and bottom as well, but the animation is slightly different, as you can see. Let's just go back in. And the one that I um, already showed you, slide, uh, that was this one. And again, that was the one that I showed you in the beginning. And there are some other settings in here as well. Let's just change it back to stretch. And I just want to show you what the other settings are with stretch. And that's the duration. This is basically just the speed in which the animation takes an effect. The larger the number, the slower it's going to be. So if I put it on the maximum, as you can see, things are very slow. Just when I scroll, as you can see there, the animations take longer. I actually do like that because you get to enjoy them and it just looks very nice. And that's pretty much it for this tweak. Once again, it's called Cask. It brings really nice animations to table views in iOS. And again, it's available in Cydia for free in the repository that's in the description down below. And next we have Classic Folders. This one's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this tweak does do what the name suggests. It will bring back the old folder style from iOS 6 and earlier to iOS 8. And just the way that the folders perform and just look overall is very similar, if not identical, to iOS 6. So just to give you a comparison here with, you know, normal iOS 8, as you can see, the folders do look very different, uh, just the way that they are, uh, how they take up the entire screen like this, and there's no, you know, preview, you can't see anything else on the screen, uh, but as you can see, with this tweak, you can see other elements on the screen, and again, it's just very similar to iOS 6. And there are various styles you can configure to make it look different, and just other options as well. That's all configurable through these settings applications. So after you install it, you could go into settings, then find classic folders. And here, make sure the tweak is enabled. And you could go to mode, and here are the you know styles. So as you can see, by default, it is on modern. This is basically just a modernized version of iOS 6 folders, so they look a little bit better. You could also have Maverick style from OS X Mavericks, Classic, which is basically identical to iOS 6, and iOS 4 Beta, which is you know the ancient folders back from iOS 4.0 Beta. Uh, first, I just want to show you Classic because that's probably what you're trying to get with this if you're installing it. And there's also some other settings here for modern mode. You could have dark tint or icon outline. And for the classic mode, you could also have the classic icon shape if you want. After you make any changes, you should respring your device. Uh, so just go ahead and select this. Then all of the, ch then all of the changes uh, will take an effect. Okay, so I'm back from respringing. And as you can see, my folders do have the style of iOS 6. Just that linen gray pattern, as you can see right there, is present back from iOS 6. And lastly, I just want to show you what the iOS 4 beta folder style looks like. And let's just go back into the settings here. And we'll go back to iOS uh, 4 beta. Then we'll respring. Okay, so let's just swipe over to our folders here. And as you can see, we now have the iOS 4 beta style. And personally, I understand why they changed this. It looks pretty ugly if you ask me. But anyways, this tweak is called a Classic Folders. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And, you know, it works exactly as advertised, does what it says. And, again, it's available in Cydia for $1.99. 
And just one more thing with classic folders, I did want to mention that it is possible to have pages inside the folders with this tweak. So if you put an icon in here, you can move it over to another page, as you can see. So you can have some features, as you can see, from iOS 7 and above on this tweak, even though it is from iOS 6. As you can see, again, you can still have pages. And of course, also renaming is exactly the same, just to mention that as well. And next up, we have Folder Blur. This is available in Cydia for free. And this tweak does give you some really nice effects for folders. As you can see right here, I have this really nice, you know, blurred uh, new effect that isn't normally there in iOS inside folders. So just to give you a comparison again, as you can see, this is what they normally look like. It's very uh, clear well where the uh, folder ends and the rest of the device, um, you know, proceeds. But with this, it's a little bit more blurred and just very, very nice. Um, you know, new effects. And of course, you could configure all these effects inside the settings application for folder blur. Then you could go to style, and as you can see, we have various styles to choose from. Well, then I'm currently on is this one down here, uh, blurried uh, in between. That's my personal favorite one. Uh, of course, you could explore, you know, find the best one for you, but this effect is just very nice the way that it takes the wallpaper in, in a slightly different manner. Uh, let's just show you a few of them. Let's try transparent. That's a very basic one, but you know. I'll just show it to you. As you can see right there, there's absolutely uh, no differentiation, differentiation, I don't know if that's a word, um, between the uh, folder and the rest of the device. But as you can see, you know, it's still sensitive uh, to the taps, each of them, but, you know, it's just not visible. But anyways, let's just try a few more. Let's try milk, glass, opaque. There you go. That one's a little bit even more uh, clear, the difference between the wallpaper and the folder. Let's just try one more. Uh, let's try dark milk glass, bit less opaque. Not so descriptive, right? <laughs> Anyways, as you can see right there, that one is basically just, just like almost non-transparent, almost black, but it is slightly transparent uh, background. And it's a very good tweak. You know, it has some really nice effects for your folders. And once again, it's called Folder Blur. It's available in Cydia for free. All right, and next up is Cylinder. This one's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will allow you to have nice page animations, you know, page swiping animations when you're moving between pages on your home screen or in folders, as you can see right here. Now, if you've been in the Jailbreak community for a while, you're probably already thinking, you know, Bear allows you to do this exact same thing. And that's completely true. However, Cylinder has a couple things that Barrel doesn't have. For one, it's free. And two, it allows you to do some other, you know, newer things that Barrel doesn't allow. And if you go into settings on your device and find Cylinder, um, you'll see some of these new additions that, you know, a lot that basically makes this a little bit more useful than Barrel. So of course, make sure the tweak is enabled up at the top, and then you could go into effects, and here are all your effects. You could change between, you know, these effects, get the one that you want. The one that I'm currently on is curl and roll away, as you can see right here. You know, that's this one right there. And if you want to, you can, you know, try another one out. And as you can see, there is a one next to the uh, curl and roll away indicating that that is there. Now, one of the things that makes uh, this tweak better than barrel is that you could have the effects working at the same time. So yes, you could have two effects having you know an effect on your home screen at the same time. And basically, as you can see, there's a one right there. If I tap on another one, there is a two. That means both of these are functioning at the same time on my home screen. So as you can see right here, uh, they're both working. I still have the curl and roll away effect, but it's happening in a cube formation, as you can see. So that's amazing. You're able to combine effects with this. And you can just continue tapping on these, as you can see, three, four, five. And the more you add, the more insane it will get. As you can see right here, that's just crazy. You know, you could follow these flying across your screen, and it's just the patterns are insane because, you know, it's combining these effects all into one. So this is, again, definitely one of the things that makes this superior to Barrel. You know, obviously, you know, the Barrel developer uh, did have the idea first, so you got to give the credit to him. But, you know, this is definitely a very cool addition to that idea, being able to combine all these modes at the same time just to make absolutely insane modes. You know, there are hundreds of combinations you can make with this. You know, I'm terrible at math, but that's what I've heard, you know, that there's tons and tons of combinations, you know, different ones at the same time that you can make with this. So it contains tons and tons of animations that, you know, you could make on your own, and they, they are at your decision disposal. And I also just wanted to mention that if you only want one, you know, going and you don't want a bunch of crazy things, if you just want to keep it simple and you know, only have one animation taking an effect, basically all you need to do is if you do have a bunch selected, just go ahead and uncheck, you know, all of them just like this. You just tap on them like this and then uncheck them. 
and then you could just tap one. So I could just tap one of these and boom, now that's gonna be the only one that is taking an effect. Now, you know, if I were to add some others, as you can see right there, of course, there's two and three. And you know, if you just un if you just uh, tap on any of them, as you can see, the uh, one that's remaining will become one, and then that's gonna be the only one that takes an effect. So that's basically uh, just for anybody who wants to keep it simple and just use simple animations. And there's even an option to randomize these modes inside these settings applications. So if you toggle this on, it's basically just going to shuffle the effect. So every time you swipe, as you can see, it's going to give you a new one. Now this is not, you know, your crazy effects that you created, you know, multiple at the same time. These are just the standard effects shuffling at random, as you can see. Now, I must say, you know, this is a very cool tweak, as you can see right here, being able to get, you know, just all the barrel effects, of course, you know, it's always a great tweak, barrel, but also being able to combine them is very, very nice. Now, the fact that it's available for free, obviously, it's very cool that we're able to get it for free. However, as far as the morality is concerned, I'm not really sure because the developer of Barrel, obviously, you know, came up with the core idea for this tweak and he's not really getting credited uh, because obviously this tweak's available for free. So I'm not really sure as far as, you know, the uh, morality of that, but I'm not, you know, I'm not the one making those decisions and it is a pretty good tweak and it's just, you know, amazing what you're able to do with it. So it's up to you whether you feel comfortable downloading this and, you know, feel like you're doing the right thing. But again, it's available in Cydia for free. It's called Cylinder. And the last tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Prism Board. It's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak, as you can see right here, it basically just gives you a new keyboard. Now, as you can see right off the bat, it is a lot lighter. And also, when you tap on the pop-up keys, as you can see right here, the pop-up keys are all different colors. So, you know, each time you tap, you're going to be getting a different color depending on the key that you tap on. So, it just looks very nice. You know, everything pops out at you. It's just a very, again, good-looking keyboard. Now, one potential downside with this is that the, you know, overall keyboard is lighter, so maybe a little bit less easier to make out individual buttons, but it's not that bad. I mean, I can make out everything just fine. It just depends on you, I guess. And also, I know this keyboard so well, so it wouldn't really make a difference, even if they were hard to see. But if you ask me, they're not terribly difficult to make out, but, you know, it depends on your eyesight, I guess. And anyways, the tweak's called Prism Board. It's available in Cydia for free, and I really do like it. It just adds a nice clean effect to your keyboard. And that just about wraps it up for this video. If you found some good tweaks to install on your devices, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles in Google+. Also be sure to follow my personal Twitter account, and all those things will be linked down below in the description. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.